Hey everyone, Pinchy Al here, and we're back with another unboxing, part three from Eurotuning.com. Let's get to work. Let's start unboxing some of the new stuff that we just got in today. So, without further ado, this is Pinchy Al's Garage. Like it says in the title, part three of the new unboxing from Eurotuning. We got a box here that's 23 pounds. We got a box here that's uh, three pounds. And then this guy is two pounds. Now, I can tell you right off the bat what this is, because it already says it on the box. I have no idea what these two are. So, like we always do here in unboxing, we're gonna unbox the small ones first and figure out what the big one is. So my trusty box cutter blade. Look at that logo from Eurotuning. <laughs> These guys gotta love us, man. We've been buying so much crap from them, it's not even funny. So this is the, uh, what size box? This is the three pound box. Let's see what we got. Woo, paper. Oh, the gauges. All right, so we got our, let's see what's this one. This is the black series from Glow Shift. We got our boost gauge. Ooh, I'll take them out of the box a little bit. We got our oil pressure gauge. And then, ah, oh, much, much needed, the exhaust uh, manifold uh, hardware. So these are all the studs, all the nuts, and the washers that we're gonna need for the new uh, turbo manifold that's coming in the mail as well. So, awesome kit, 30 bucks, and you get everything you need to pretty much install a brand new manifold, gasket, and all the fun stuff here. Let's see, what else is there? That's pretty much it. Got the paper. Set that aside. So, two gauges. Manifold studs, nuts, and washers. Not bad. So now we got the, the one covered in like, I don't know, they just shipped the whole box, I think. They just wrapped the box. Um, it is really cold in this garage. My hand is freezing right now. There we go. What is it? What is it? Fingers. Oh, it's a, it says you're tuning on the box. Now you're more excited for this box. Okay. Come on! I have to work my my hand's still not super strong. Ooh! I like the box. The box is dope. I'm gonna reuse this for somebody on, uh, for one of my Patreon members. I love this box already. Mm. Oh, oh, it's a t-shirt. Okay, I gotta put this up in a little bit. Uh, four of the injectors. So these are the uh, Bosch 440cc injectors that we're gonna be rocking on this build. AKA the Green Giants. These are notoriously known for just amazing performance for a VR6. So, uh, 440 cc injectors. Uh, from everything I read online, this is all you need to make a shit ton of horsepower. So we'll see. Uh, packing slip, and obviously what came in the box, and that's it. So I love the box. I'm gonna save this box. Thank goodness I didn't damage it. I love this box. Uh, I might use it as a prop for a bunch of other stuff later down the road. New t-shirt. Okay, so I added, this is one of those t-shirts I bought for myself. 
I don't own a lot of uh, t- I mean, I own a lot of t-shirts, but that's dope. Don't worry, guys. I ordered actually a couple of these for you guys. So again, if you guys are Patreon members, we're going to be giving a bunch of Eurotuning swag pretty soon. I bought a bunch. They did donate a little bit of stuff to us, but not as much as I'm going to be buying from them. So either way, we're going to give them a major shout out and thank you as always, because swag is amazing. I love swag. Especially when swag, when like when t-shirts, lanyards, and other cool stuff is done really, really tastefully and nicely. It's so worth buying. Like honestly, it's 100% worth it. So now that we got injectors, t-shirt, a manifold, and what's it called? Uh, gauges done. Oh, we got El Grande box. So this thing's 23 pounds. So let's see why. But before we open this box, we gotta go quick segue to our sponsor. Oh, what's going on, Pinche Al? What are you doing today, man? Hey, what's going on, Al? Yeah, I'm just uh, working on the VR6 uh, turbo right here that I'm building for our Patreon members. And doggone it, I'm looking for some parts. And I just can't seem to find them online. I just don't know where to go. Well, it looks like to me, you need to go to Eurotuning.com to get the parts that you're looking for. What? Eurotuning.com's got all the parts that I need for my VR6? Oh man, I appreciate that, Al. I'm gonna get on over to my computer and order something from Eurotuning.com. Be right back, buddy. Delivery, UBS. Wow, my package arrived! That was super fast! Thank you, Eurotuning.com! Alright, welcome back. Let's get back to opening this bad boy. More paper. <laughs> Do I see a oh, my God, this is a manifold. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> this is this is the new manifold for the view. Hold on. Holy crap, this thing is heavy. Oh jeez. Okay, if you carry it in the box, it's not that bad. But when you carry it like this, this is really heavy. Oh. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Oh. Oh. That's a manifold. <laughs> That's from Kinetic Motorsports. I went with a full on brand name manifold. And now I can tell the difference in weight. Like it is gnarly in how much this thing weighs. Um, this is a T3, T4 uh, turbo manifold from Kinetic Motorsports. The casting is beautiful on this thing, by the way. So smooth. Um, I don't know why these are provided. More than likely, they're for this guy over here on the side. You know, to, I don't know. I don't know what these are for. They don't really specify what they're for. Um, maybe so you can find the thread size or the thread pitch. Could be. Um, but they pretty much give you one size fits all style. So T3, T4 uh, style turbos. Um, external wastegate. Uh, the turbo that we went with is actually internally gated. So we're going to need to get a block off plate for this guy. Um, but yeah, man. This thing is legit. It is beautiful. It is beautifully machined. You can see the casting. Very, very smooth. There's like not, there's no burrs. No burrs, no shitty uh, anything. I'm impressed. I'm actually, through. okay, hold on. Here's, here's a glamour shot. <laughs> Again, this thing weighs 20 pounds. 
20 to 23 pounds by itself. That is gnarly heavy. I am probably not in the market to take this and put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. It's probably gonna go on once and that's it. I'm not gonna ever take this thing off the car. Um, I can almost guarantee you when you guys are working on your motor and if this ever fails and cracks on you, you're pulling the motor out. I'm, 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 I can almost guarantee you that's what you're gonna end up doing because this is that, it's that awkwardly heavy for, for what it is. That is today's unboxing. Actually, you know what? No, that is not today's unboxing. We're gonna open the box of the shifts, the glow shifts. You know, that's what we're gonna do. Because they're brand new. We wanna look at them, we wanna touch them. We're gonna open them. So I went with the Tinted Series uh, from Glow Shift. They're really nice. You'll notice they get dark and they get bright at different angles. Uh, they're dope for that. Um, this is a 30 PSI boost gauge with vacuum. If you guys can see down here, uh, it'll give us a vacuum reading when it's at idle. So when cars are at idle, they'll read a vacuum because they're not accelerating and creating any pressure. So you'll have a negative number versus positive in other words vacuum versus pressure on average you should have about 20 pounds of vacuum um, so if the car is running correctly you should be at around 20 if it's having problems and it's like fluctuating then you can tell that you have more than just a vacuum issue um, really nice to give you a easy easy uh, mat this is all analog so uh, analog is probably going to be the most accurate way to get your boost readings in these cars um, especially for how old they are. You get a vacuum line in the box. You get the mounting hardware and a T-fitting. Not bad. And you get this cool little, little uh, thing here that like gives it, I guess, shade. <laughs> like a, oh, a hood. Oh, there we go. You get a little hood with it. That's the word I'm looking for. Kind of like on your cameras and your SLR cameras, you get a little hood for it. That's pretty dope. I have these. I have these same uh, same um, gauges in my Mark IV GTI, and I didn't get a hood with it. So I feel, I feel uh, a little, a little bit trade right now. <laughs> That's pretty dope. I like the little hood. That's actually really good if you uh, mount these on a dash. So if the sun hits it, you actually will still be able to read it. I might keep it on here. I don't know yet. All right, this goes back in the box. Back with the beast. Oh, and wiring, super, super simple. You have an accessory. You got a hot wire and a ground. You wire the accessory pretty much uh, to a constant 12. You wire, wire the power to a triggered 12, and that's it. You're pretty much straightforward. And then um, these have this little button here. This one right here changes the colors on your gauge. So what's dope about that, as long as you keep an accessory wire at all times, it'll constantly remember the last color that you left it on. Just a heads up. Uh, I'll give you guys a DIY on all this. Don't worry about it. It's super easy. Uh, we got like three gauges to install on the, the Jetta. So we got a lot of DIYs coming for all that. And again, gauges are extremely uh, vital because they give you live readouts of pretty much your car's health. And that's why we got gauges for this car. You know, it's kind of like a heart monitor for your car, for your body, but this is like, you know, for your car. We're checking all the vitals that matter that we're gonna be pretty much elevating. In other words, fuel pressure is one, uh, uh, not fuel pressure, uh, oil pressure, boost, and air fuel. Uh, oil pressure is vital. 
Um, it's kind of like your blood pressure. If you don't have a constant blood pressure, you can, you can have a lot of other fun problems down the road. Um, number one, not enough oil pressure means you're not feeding enough blood into your engine, which can end up to oil starvation and overheating, and then you gotta seize block. Fun times. So, we got our oil pressure gauge, very, very simple. It's got a couple little things. It's 12 volts, so it's easy to install. Let's see what comes in the box. Now, Mark IVs already come with an oil pressure gauge, but we can't see it. And it's a single wire gauge, so it's not as accurate. This is pretty much a three wire uh, oil pressure gauge. You can see that right there. A little bit more accurate reading. We have all the mounting hardware plus uh, power uh, wire as well. Now, the main wire, this is like a, a, a wire and then we have a junction wire right here that will pretty much connect to this and go to wherever it needs to go to. Um, yeah, this will go to the actual sensor, and then this is the extension. And then we wire this up to, let me show you, here you go. Really, really simple. Because we're using a sensor. Um, so this guy plugs into the sensor. Pretty straightforward on this one, right? This gives us our pressure reading. This sends a signal over to the gauge. Wham, bam, right here. So this one goes on the bottom, just like that. And then we got our power wire right here, plugs into that, and then this is what we pretty much power up and get all the accessory readings correctly. Super, super easy. Um, I don't like the way this loom looks, so we're gonna modify this loom and we're gonna dress it up. Um, so, Stay tuned for some of that. I'm not gonna pull that out anymore. Hopefully. Let me see. There we go. Pretty easy, straightforward. Just like a Mark IV. Uh, no, actually no. Mark IVs don't have this thing. I'll leave that one here. That's a little bit of a little bit of damage that one. Um, that's it. So we saw the box, all the boxes this time, just unboxing. So we got quite a few new DIYs coming. Um, so be ready for more and more content as more car parts show up. And as more car parts show up, we make more content. That's how this channel works. As we get parts and we're able to fund all these parts, uh, we will give you guys pretty much a DIY every time a set of equipment comes in. So that is it. Thanks again to Patreon and all our Patreon members for making this build possible. The part three unboxing from Eurotuning.com. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Got to tag you. Got to love you guys. Super, super fast shipping. I kid you not, I ordered everything last week. So I'm getting boxes and boxes legitimately almost every single day. So thank you again. Peace out.